So last night I told you guys that I'm going to do a new series on the channel called um, Who is Better, right? So my new, my new series is Who's Better. So basically, I know a lot of people. Uh, I know a lot of like people on the internet are gonna. This is not original series. How dare you? Like you cannot think of anything original. But like, I'm trying to do different things on a channel, and you know what? If I'm, I know that this is probably been done on the YWIWC before, but whatever. I don't care. Um, who's better? So on this part, um, part well, edition one, should I say? I don't call episodes, but edition one is. Kane versus Undertaker. Now, these two guys have had have had legendary careers in their own perspective. But who was better? Who had the more uh, charismatic career? Who had the more over career? And I'm gonna be running down like their best debuts, their more title wins, the best feuds they've had, and what I think of overall the characters in general over the years. So start off with their debut. So Undertaker debuted in 1990 um, as a Mystery, um, the final member of Ted of of uh, Team DiBiase versus Team Heart Foundation in nineteen in nineteen ninety, um, and he had a really impressive show in there, and then obviously that would lead to obviously him ha having um beat Hulk Hogan in his first couple of months in the WWF to become the new WWF champion. Also, he had um he had obviously the greatest streak in sports ever which was the undefeated WrestleMania streak to WrestleMania 30. And then you look at Kane. Kane came in. I'm not going to talk about his dentist. I'm just Kane the character. So Kane came in 1997 at Bad Blood. Um, you know, Tombstone is rather the Undertaker. And after that, he was a monster at the start. You know, he beat Steve Austin at Bad Blood 98. I don't even know that he only had the WWE title for one day or one night. But it was good in its own right. And then obviously he kind of faded away for a bit. And he um, <clears throat> kind of did his own thing. So who had a better debut? I'd have to say Undertaker. Uh, I just think it's more memorable. I, I mean, the Kane one is still rem uh, memorable. But in my opinion, I really do like the how the Undertaker was booked after his... I think he had a better first run. Then Kane did. I think Kane kind of after, especially after WrestleMania 14, kind of did die down a bit. He was still red hot, but I don't know. Especially after 90s, well, after Bad Blood and going af after, I think, Royal Rumble, he kind of um, burned, uh, kind of like, I don't know, spark kind of went away after that. So I want to say the best debut, the best debut year was Undertaker. Um, who had the better title runs, Undertaker or Kane? I have to say Undertaker again on this one. I think Undertaker, in my opinion, was like, you know, um, you know, he had the better title runs, it was more memorable. Kane, you know, he had some memorable title runs as well. Like, I remember, um, him being the hardcore champion. He had a good few IC title reigns, uh, tag reigns. But him as world champion, they were just forgettable. Um, who had, who had the better, um... Longevity. Well, both guys are still there, but he's like there full time. I gotta say, Kane on this one because Kane, he's the guy that is still age forty nine. He's a full time guy. Um, he's still doing house shows and he's still doing <clears throat> the tours and um, he's always at every SmackDown. Well, most every SmackDown, but he's injured right now. And basically, he shows up every single year, like just healthy. And with Undertaker, he's only there what a couple of months at a time. Now he's wrestling. Every once in a while, so I would say who's the better all round, for uh, who's the um, longevity, who's had the long, most longevity is Kane, as a full time guy. Taker, you know, we know he's all beat up, but Kane's beat up as well, so you know, I have to say that as Kane for that. <clears throat> and the last one, who's had the most established career, Undertaker or Kane? In my opinion, I've got to say Undertaker again. Um, but but Kane, I've got to say for Kane's dues, I've got to say Kane had a has had a Hall of Fame career, no doubt. He's had, you know, he's he's become hardcore champion, tag champion, world champion, WWF champion, ECW champion. Um, he was IC champion. I think he was US champion at some point. But yeah, he had a good career. But you look at the Undertaker, and you look at, at a guy that has his character tweet about three or four times in, in a couple of decades, and he is still over. With the Kane character that has been turned heel and face and heel and face and you've had so many bad shit storylines with Kane that in today's 
WWE, like today's fans could not get behind um, the Kane's character like they did in 98, 99, 97 and stuff like that. And even in the old 2000s, like they cannot get behind that Kane anymore because he's been so repackaged so many times that once he, they finally fight something for Kane again, something serious or something that the WWE wants us to finally get invested in, like they don't care for it because they've seen all this shit before with Kane, but with Undertaker, like, when he had the terror, when he had the zombie gimmick, he he did the best out of that zombie gimmick, and then when he went to um, the phenom gimmick in the Attitude Era, he he did wonders for that, and then he went to the biker gimmick, even though it was a shit gimmick, and I, I think kind of I didn't I, I wasn't a fan of it. I know some people like that gimmick, but I, I personally didn't like that Undertaker gimmick, and then when he had when he went back to the phenom gimmick, I, I just thought in my opinion. You know what? Whatever Undertaker was given, he could work with what he was given. Like, like you know, there's, there's a certain amount of guys that are in this business that you can really say that guy can work with anything, and he worked with the little sources he had. And in in an era that Undertaker had, when you had an era with guys like the Big Boss Man, and you had Tugboat, and all those other characters that were, and even Doink the Clown, who was kind of a you know, goofy character. I won't say Boss Man, but I was saying they was a good character. But you had Doink the Clown and who else was a goofy character? Like Car um uh, who was that other guy? Um Kamala. Kamala, yeah, I don't know what's a goofy gimmick like that. And then, you know, um what what's that other guy's name? Um Oh, I'm trying to blank it. Oh Well, Beaver Cleavage, yeah. When you have the goofy characters like that and Undertaker you have that great character like that. I mean it's just so amazing. But yeah, yeah. Overall guys that is um, who is better came versus Undertaker. Um, if you have any suggestions for the next edition, leave them in the comments, and um, yeah, check you later.